uh, and let's uh, get right to it. But wait, before we before we get to your questions, I I really <sighs> so I published an article on Kotaku uh, late last week called Konami Sucks. It is probably the most forceful headline I have written since joining Kotaku. And the reason that I wrote Konami Sucks is because ever since everything's been happening with PT, in which Konami announced they were no longer going to make Silent Hills, that they're breaking up with Hideo Kojima, or at least that seems to be the case, um, none of that stuff really bothers me. I don't really care what Hideo Kojima's relationship with Konami is. I don't really care that Konami is having a spat with one of their big designers. I don't even care that much that Silent Hills have been canceled. What I care about is the fact that in the age of digital distribution, agency has been taken away from the consumer. I hate the fact that Konami has taken down PT, one of the best horror games ever made, certainly one of the scariest things you can play right now on your PlayStation 4, assuming you already downloaded before they took it down. They chose to take it down. We don't know if there were reasons behind that. There could be valid reasons behind it, but they have chosen silence. They have chosen the worst possible scenario, and thus we are only left to wonder, is the reason they're doing it because they're spiteful and trying to bury gaming history? And that really touches a nerve with me. The video game industry is terrible at preserving its history. It's terrible at remembering where it came from. It's terrible about letting people who haven't played older games experience them in a new form just notice that with every new game console uh more often than not we lose backwards compatibility and even if we do get the rare chance to uh pay for a game we already paid for before it's often not every game uh it's maybe not the game that we cherish it's maybe not the game that we would want to pay for and so we are forced into the gray areas of the world piracy and forced for to, to have fans bless their hearts, figure it out for corporations with millions of dollars and, and seemingly endless resources that they won't do the simple act of preserving the things that we enjoy and help to get them there into the first place. Their acts of creation that we have loved, that we have cared for, that we have paid for, are simply thrown into the dustbin uh, in a way that is extremely aggravating. So with PT, they decided not only are we going to take it down from the store, but if you've already, quote unquote, purchased it or you've downloaded it, if you delete it, if your hard drive's corrupted, there is no way to re-download it. What's happened in the past is that games that were taken down from stores, and this happens for legitimate reasons, right? So for example, there have been games that have been taken down from Xbox Live Arcade and PSN in which the company that published them lost the rights. And so they no longer can profit from the sales of those games. But a key difference is that you can still download those games. They still honor your right to having purchased of those games. And if you delete those games or for some reason you have to get a new machine, you still have the right to download them. You don't have the right to purchase them because that company no longer has the right to sell them to you. So while that's complicated and weird and sort of an unfortunate byproduct of the digital era in which there is not a disc or a cartridge to pass around, at least there's a reason there. At least there's something you can grapple with. In this case, it feels vindictive. It feels as though they are burying a game they want nothing to do with anymore. And if it was something crappy, I guess I could understand, but PT is a revelation. It's fantastic, it's scary, it's terrifying. The first 30 minutes are some of the best gaming experiences I've had in the last 10 years. And it breaks my heart to see it go away, not only in a fashion that just gets rid of it, but in a, in a fashion that means that millions of people will never get to experience it. If there's a reason that PT doesn't exist on the PlayStation Network store, I'd love to hear it. At least then I could wrap my head around it. But what's absurd, what led me to write something like Konami sucks and feel good about it, even though that kind of goes against the sort of hyperbolic headlines I'm used to in the past, is because that's what I feel in my gut. I feel that Konami sucks, and I feel they're doing a disservice to something that was great. Uh, I have no idea if Silent Hills was going to be a good game, but I know that PT was an amazing experience, and it breaks my heart that more people aren't going to get experience it. Whew. Konami sucks. Anyway, let's get...